Diesel Fest weekend draws large crowds to Terre Haute and is a moneymaker for the city, but some are concerned about safety after hours. Good evening and thanks for joining us for News 10 Night Watch. One particular after party is grabbing the attention of local businesses and owners and authorities. News 10's Heather Good spoke with the party organizer. She has more on the controversy live from the fairgrounds. Official Shine Diesel extravaganza events are happening here at the Vigo County Fairgrounds, but across 41 and past the Vigo Dodge dealership, an after party is planned. That party is getting a lot of attention, and the organizer says it hasn't all been positive. We want to make sure that everybody makes it home safely and has a safe place to um, have a good time at. Some Vigo County business owners have concerns about a diesel fest after party planned this weekend in this six acre lot. It's going to be really crowded. The road is narrow. Uh, uh, I'm afraid somebody could possibly get hurt. Dealership president Mike Tom says the shy diesel extravaganza has been good for business and he's never had issues before, but this year he's hiring security for the first time to prepare for the after party near his business, not affiliated with shy diesel. It's going to be crowded and it's going to be a concern for law enforcement trying to keep everything uh, going the right direction. Olivia Kirchner is organizing what's being called the official diesel after party. She says she moved the party here outside Terre Haute city limits when her permit was denied. She had hoped to host the party at her new business exclusive event center and use the money she made from the party for her startup. We have all these people that come from out of town to our city and they make all this money off of us and it's like why can't one of us make this money and then put it not only put it back into our city, but you know, feed our families off of this. Kirchner worked with her attorney at Ellis Law to secure this location where crews are now working to clear and level the lot. Four to 500 people are expected at the three day block party. Kirchner explains she has all the necessary paperwork and the party is happening, but she understands why some may have concerns. I would expect for every business to have concerns um, as I would if you know, if it was in my area around my business. But what I would like also to make clear is that we're taking every step um, and every precaution that we can knowingly um, to make sure that this is safe for not only all the people attending, but for all the businesses around. Kirchner says she's hired the same security company being used here at the fairgrounds. She's also canceled the burnout contest to alleviate some of those safety concerns. That party starts each night at 9 o'clock and continues well into the morning and it is $20 at the gate to get in. Live in Vigo County, Heather Good, News 10.